happy Saturday and happy day after Christmas. I want to reach out because I, of course, didn't put things up on Christmas because uh, Christmas is a peaceful time. So I'm not going to put up crazy conspiracy theories or facts on those days. But let's get back to some facts because we need it because some shit is coming down the pipe very quick. And I think everybody's going to need I think everybody's awake now at this point. This stimulus bill they put out for the coronavirus um, with $4.4 million going to former presidents for stimulus bills for Pelosi and her cohorts there to get $58,000 in bonuses. A lot of stuff. You know, all the money we're sending to other countries. A lot of, a lot of stuff woke you guys up. It shook people awake that even Biden supporters right now are like, what the fuck is going on? Like, it's not even about... Dems or Republicans right now, Biden or Trump, people are like, why the fuck is our money going over there? How long has this been going on? And what the fuck is really going on? People are asking questions and they're pissed and all that's a good thing. Now, what are we here to talk about today? I witnessed the most in your face example of how the media controls the situation, how they're able to dictate what you think, what you feel, how to, to bend your mind in the direction that they want to get you to go in. So yesterday I was watching CNN at my in-law's house after the thing that happened in Nashville with the bomb. And I watched CNN, which is supposed to be news, right? News. News is you are given facts. You fact check those. You fact check your sources. Then you give the facts and only the facts, not opinions, not what you think might be going on, not the general consensus of what everybody at CNN thinks together when they had their meetings. None of that shit. It's just the facts. That's what news is. Then after people get the facts, they make their own decisions based on all the information that they have that they can make the best decision based on the facts. I watched four different avenues that CNN tried to explain the bombing, which was really kind of unsettling to me. The first one was, well, it may have been military. And what was interesting is the anchor was like, well, there's really no information as of just yet. However, there is speculation. What speculation? It is possible they were using words that was like nobody told them. You know, what we're seeing, nobody, what, what we're seeing, what were you told, what are the facts? It could be military. If it is military, then it would be easy to trace because there'll be, um, you know, different ways of having to sign things out. They went through this whole big thing, and if it's not, then it was stolen from the military. Time out. Now you all of a sudden have explosives being stolen from the military that you think might, <laughs> and then it was, well, maybe it's just domestic terrorism or something like that. It could be many just household materials and things that you get for the house and chemicals and stuff, which something this big, then you might be able to trace those. And, you know, maybe people will be looking online and I'm sitting there going, all this speculation, all this like sensationalism of this anchor of who he's probably being told to say these things about what could be. Well, this is the news. Okay. This is supposed to be facts. Now here's how it should go. That anchor should literally be sitting with his little microphone like this, talking to it. Be at this time, we have no other information about who could have possibly planted this bomb, why it was made, why it was made here. We have no information. It is still under investigation. We will keep you afoot as things develop. Back to you, Chuck, or whatever the fuck would be there. That'd be the news. Not this anchor standing out there with the near the blast, which is so dramatic with it behind him and the fucking charred fucking and giving his his stories that he's making up about what could have possibly happened so now what happens is i watch that i go online a few hours later and i see people saying and we think it might be military we think it might be stolen from the military we think it might be um you know they ordered a bunch of ammonia nitrate in cow manure and i'm like where the fuck they got it from watching cnn they got it planted in their heads that what this guy was fucking yapping about which was just him making up shit on the fly they got it in their heads that what he was saying was fact because that was the way he presented it. And it gave people the time to go online and start spreading that crap real fast. And then people pick that up and they go, oh, it was the military. And then other people start spreading it. Now we have all this weird disinformation and it all came from an anchor on CNN from one newscast that I watched about the bombing. And now it makes it almost impossible for people to actually go out there and find real information because as facts start to come up, you go, well, that doesn't jive with, you know, now they're saying they found a possible suspect or suspects. They have, um, you know, possible people. They have these names that they're looking at. Um, you know, it knocked out the AT&T comms. The internet went down. Like, there's all these things that are coming out now. And they're still not giving any facts as to what the bomb was, where it came from, what, you know, who could have possibly done it. 
No facts about that bomb except for the fact that it exploded. It had a countdown timer. It was done in the middle of the night. There were gunshots before that police responded to. My question is the police were responding to gunshots and they said that. The Nashville um, police chief said that, but they never said what they found. Police originally were reporting for um, to shots fired. What happened? There were shots fired. That was all you said. Then it turned out, then we discovered a bomb. How did you discover a bomb? Who was shooting? What the fuck happened? It wasn't like they said, when we arrived on the scene, we found no shootings. What about the shell casings? Right? People are shooting. Are there shell casings? Are there witnesses? There's people popping off caps in the middle of the night on Christmas. You think somebody would stick their head out the window and look around and see what's going on? Are there any witnesses? Like, there's so much bullshit. But if you watch CNN, that anchor, he's got it all figured out. He knows what may or may not have happened. And you know what? Even if he doesn't, he's going to make you think that he does and spread a fuck ton of disinformation. And that keeps everybody off of figuring out what's really going on. Because truly, when that shit happens, what's really going on is probably something that maybe people at CNN don't want to get out there. Maybe they feel like it's bad for the country. They're trying to protect the country. Maybe they're trying to protect politicians or someone else involved. Maybe they're trying to protect who knows at this point. It's 2020. But the bottom line is the horse shit continues on CNN, Fox. It's not just specifically one channel. The horse shit's out there. You got to be very careful what you listen to. Um, I would advise staying away from all the mainstream media altogether because you're going to see things that are conflicting constantly and each one of them calling each other out and there's no proof either way of who's right or wrong. It's a fucking circus. And what better way to hide what's really going on than to have you distracted by watching a circus? Think about it, guys. Merry Christmas.